Sagittarius, and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from March 2nd to March 9th. This space has been cleared, and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. But before, so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle the busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Sagittarius content is uploaded. Sagittarius content comes out every single Thursday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out the description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, you can find a link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings, depending upon subscription level. Now, a little astrology before we jump into the tarot. On March 2nd, you got Mercury in Aquarius. This conjunct Saturn in Aquarius in the, in the morning. So be disciplined and focused. Mercury enters into Pisces in the afternoon. So focus is going to be found in quiet reflection and release. And with that Venus in Aries, with that Jupiter in Aries, it means love is going to feel really optimistic. At um, March 3rd, you have uh, the Void of Course Moon at 9.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it enters in its waxing gibbous state into Leo at 10.16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make time for play because it will connect your heart. On the 4th, the waxing gibbous moon in Leo is square Uranus in Taurus, which means some patience is running high. Work on small changes for uh, things to progress. On Sunday, March 5th, you at uh, 10, 18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you have the Void of Course Moon. And on, at 10, 38 p.m., you got the Moon entering into Virgo. So plenty of work to do, and the more work you do, the more work you're gonna wanna do. Once you get into a productive groove, you're not gonna wanna stop. On uh, Monday, March 6th, Purim starts at sundown. It goes from sundown of March 6th to sundown of March 7th. So Purim blessings to anyone who is listening that might worship. On the 6th, you have Sun in Pisces, Sextile Uranus in Taurus with a waxing gibbous moon in Virgo. So individuality is where it's at. Feel good about what makes you different from others. On March 7th, you have that full moon entering into Virgo at 7.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and that Saturn entering uh, into Pisces. So Saturn in Pisces means work is now about introspection, reflection, and compassion. And the full moon in Virgo is about completing tasks and managing stress in a healthy way. And all that sounds like exactly what one is supposed to be doing it on Purim. It's all about reflection and atonement and stuff. So what a, what a beautiful sentiment for the people who worship there. On the 8th, um, at 9.07 a.m., you have a void, of course, moon, Eastern Standard Time. And again, at Eastern Standard, Standard Time at 9.44 a.m., at the waning gibbous moon is going to enter into Libra. It's right after the full moon, so it's waning. Before the full moon, it's waxing. It's after a new moon. That's the cycle. Um, with, uh, with that, you're going to have to give some focus time to the places in your life still need balance and that will soothe you on the ninth you have the waning gibbous moon in libra is opposite jupiter and aries so you may lack motivation or feel out of, of balance make sure you're responding not reacting you know what i mean like pause before you respond no knee-jerk reactions try to keep the sarcasm to a minimum i know that's difficult for Sagittarius is sarcasm is a second language for you, but you need to be gentle with yourself and others. Right now, people need compassion on that day, okay? So let's jump into the tarot. Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. 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 
Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. Sagittarius, March 2nd. Right, okay. All right, now I will clarify all these cards, but before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balanced outcome summary, okay? There is no gender in tarot. You either are walking up to someone and talking, or someone is walking up to you and talking. No one sits around in a room and waits for somebody to talk to them and just doesn't walk up to anybody and ever speak, okay? That this whole reading is a conversation between you and another person. So you are either in action taker mode or you are in receiver mode. And that is all with the tarot. That's all they mean by the genders. Queens are in receiver mode. Kings are in action taker mode. Knights are always action takers. Pages are always communication. Right? So it's not really gender specific kind of thing. Now. In your past, you were either interacting with a Leo or you had something very much illuminated for you that brought you a great amount of joy. It had to do with possibly some work situation here with this Ten of Pentacles or some community that you consider very practical. It's like not personal life stuff. It's, uh, it's different from personal life stuff. So, Queen of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer, also a card of Gemini could be interacted with any of those signs, or you could have just needed to use your intuition, and, and now you're standing in this King of Wands energy. Now, that could be other fire signs, because it is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Leo, also a card of Cancer as well, so it could just be Cancer energy, you know, twice, but it's mainly a card of Leo, and there's Leo energy twice, but it could also just be you in boss energy, right? Any, in your fire sign, it's a fire element, you know, you're act, if you're acting mature, you could be in this boss energy. Nine of Cups, that's someone, uh, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Pisces. Also card of Aquarius, but someone coming forward with a communication, taking some sort of action, coming up to you and speaking, if you will, uh, about wanting some sort of fresh start. Aries energy there with the fool, taking a leap of faith. So this someone to you, three of swords, they're doing this because they're very sad. They're in anguish. I mean, look at that person. They look completely heartache. It's total anguish happening there. You, uh, four of swords, back to this person. You're feeling emotionally detached with your heart just sitting out over here. You know, you're definitely not reciprocating back to this person. Balance is found in the ten of wands, setting down burdens that aren't yours. Or them setting down burdens that aren't theirs. Uh, outcome here is nine of cups. That's worrying about one's own self-happiness. Ten of Cups is worrying about a group or a community. That's usually family, home life, friends, things like that. Nine of Cups is about one's own self. Nines are always about self. So Nine of Cups, filling your own cups, worrying about your own happiness. Two of Swords, that's Minor Arcana uh, Justice card energy. It's Libra energy. It's also about being, uh, you know, indecisive. A little not sure what to do there. Not in balance, certainly could be also they're wearing a blindfold so it could be just you're not seeing something or they're not seeing something six of cups it is a soul connection a soulmate energy and soulmate here being just a uh, person you have lived some other life with before it doesn't have to put them in any one type of relationship it's just they're you're very familiar with this person whether it's this life some other life it doesn't matter okay a wheel of fortune that is pisces sagittarius energy but it's also about divine timing being at play a need for patience I mean, the divine is stepping in. Things will happen when they're meant to happen and not before. Like, and you don't have any control over that, and neither do they. What is the sun card about in Sagittarius' past? Thief. You, yeah. It's come, that kind of energy is coming up a lot in everybody's readings this week. Some sort of thievery is illuminated for you. Three cards right away. Nine of Wands puts you in defensive energy. It's within a, a group or a community, recon, you know, a group you know. You're not really reconciling, but, you know, Three of Cups, that's a group. It's usually a card of reconciliation. Four of Cups, no longer interested. Like, nope. 
you found out something, nope, this person's acting skeevy, nope, get away from me. What is this Ten of Pentacles about in Sagittarius' past? Concern? Yeah, that, and they, are, they responded with being worried. What is this Ten of Pentacles about in Sagittarius' past? Page one, so they reached out. What is this Ten of Pentacles in Sagittarius' past? Three of Swords, yep. What is this Ten of Pentacles in Sagittarius' past? The Moon, that's Pisces energy. You've dealt with this person before. Three of Swords, they're here in your past. It's the same energy here in your future. This is whoever you dealt with with this bull crap in the past. They're coming back. They're coming back around. They're going to pop in here. Concern is message. What's the matter, buddy? What's the matter? What's the matter? I didn't... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What did I do? I mean, what, dude? What? Just tell me what it is, dude. Three of swords. That kind of energy. You dealt with this in the past. What is this queen of cups about? Despair. Oh, this cancer... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer or, or this Gemini. They're just, they're just so sad. They're in this despair. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, buddy. What is this Queen of Cups and Sagittarius is past? What are they whispering at you? Nine of Wands. What is this Queen of Cups? Four of Pentacles holding on. King of Cups, any water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Scorpio. Also a card of Libra. Who are they talking to? They're talking to you. They're holding on to you. Knight of Wands, it's your energy. Any fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. Just nope. They're holding on to you, buddy. I'm just so sad. They could be, if see how they could be either gender king, king or queen of wands. Doesn't matter. They could be any gender they want to say that they are. I don't care. Like, Yep, yeah, people named, uh, you know, whose parents named them James like to be called Jim. Moving on. I don't have other things to worry about. It's a natural to worry about those parts that I'm not using on other people. They're in despair. They're just, oh, buddy, I'm so sad. And they're holding on to you. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, give me some water, please. What is this King of Wands? I think he's bossed up here. Expectation. You're looking at this person's side eye. What is this King of Wands? Summon of Pentacles. What is this King of Wands? Wheel of Fortune. What is this King of Wands? Nine of Cups. You're already in this energy that you end up in here with the Nine of Cups. Uh, you're looking at this person. You got the element of the divine timing at play. You know karma is being meted out here. You can feel it. Seven of Wands. This person's accumulating some negative karma. It's been happening. You're all over here in your happy zone already. You're just sort of in a like, uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. What do you want? Oh, glass of water. I'm kind of busy at the moment. That might take a while. You might want to just go get it yourself. I kind of don't have the time right now. You're just waiting. You're waiting this person out. You know they're going to show their, their colors. And for whatever is going on, you know, you bossed up. You're like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with your expectations. It's not my job to deal with this. I'll just be patient. I'm going to do my own thing over here. And I'll be patient. I'm going to watch you trip up all over yourself. What is this King of Cups about? Sagittarius is near future. It's at work. Like I said, it's it's the Ten of Pentacles community kind of thing. What is this Knight of Cups about? The Tower, Six of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Cups about? I'll take that one. King of Pentacles, High Priestess. Okay, so King of Pentacles, any Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Taurus, also a card of Aries. Cancer energy here with this uh, High Priestess. So, because again, here we are again with that cancer energy. Really feels like a cancer. Could be a boss, right, at work. King of Pentacles, right? Very practical, high level. Needing to use your intuition. It's because there is an inequity happening here. You see this person here in the official clothing? They have weighed and measured with this scale, these two people. They've given very generously to this person. They've determined this person is worth one coin left. They're keeping a coin for themselves. That coin is sitting there on their lap, right? You need to be using your intuition. 
and this with this communication coming in from this person this water sign I really just feel like it's a cancer but it could be other signs take what resonates leave the rest kind of thing there's a tower coming they're gonna bring in this offer because a tower is coming you can see it coming what is the fool card about you see their play before they make it what is this fool card about that's why you're patient in your present energy child it's got there's potential here what is this fool card about this fresh start has potential two of wands seven of cups what's this fool card about what are you vibing on here Sagittarius ten of Pentacles you go are you the fresh start at work you're looking at your options you're standing at a crossroad you're looking at options wanting that fresh start seeing a potential you see a path forward here you really see a path forward within this community you see your way it becomes clear to you what your way is even through the confusion or anything it doesn't matter but they do not like that what is this three of swords that's why they're still in this three of swords energy that's uh lovers is gemini energy it's also a, a choice a partnership of some kind does again it doesn't have to be romantic what is this three of swords page of cups what is this three of swords five of pentacles what's this three of swords five of wands oh yeah here we go here we go i'd look up the angel number 55 this is a person you already have some sort of relationship with them you, they have a, a choice to make their choice is going to be to come to you with this cup this page of cups small time offer trying to play you small five of pentacles they're feeling so left out in the cold sagittarius sagittarius i'm so lonely i'm so lonely sagittarius Sagitt why are you gonna leave me like this why you do me like that bro why you do me like that and then when that doesn't work let's bring in with the heat with that five of wands that is direct confrontation that is it like it this would be an athletic competition if it were like healthy sort of competition or a really competitive uh, job like when you guys are in when people are in sales jobs right when you have competitive markets things of that nature right needing the right sales promotion the right touch to get those numbers right but it is also on the negative side of things with just persons living in this three of swords okay they were in the seven of swords in the past with their bs no this is they're coming in here where with aggression five of wands is aggression it is gossip it is politics world politics office politics it's people not minding their own damn business they're going to get try to get other people involved they're going to start doing the most being messy might be a direct confrontation coming at you aggression what is this four of swords about What is this Four of Swords about? Great fortune. This is your energy. You're looking at this going, I have a way to turn this. What is this Four of Swords about? They did, they did. When they come in like this, it's what you expected them to do. Nine of Swords. What is this Four of Swords about? A hermit. What's this Four of Swords about? Queen of Cups. Yeah, I see. You're going to... Uh-huh. Okay, so this person's going to come at you. Right? You're in this rest mode because you told them nope in the past. Right, They're going to come back at you with this Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups here in the past. It's this kind of energy. feels very Cancer. But again, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, whatever. Right, And they're going to be coming at you with their, this is a nightmare for me. I'm so sad. Please, please. And you're just going to be still going within. Still in this Hermit energy, this Virgo energy. You're within. You're analyzing. You're like, yep, I see your play. I see it and you see a way to spin it you're not giving them anything to work with with that four of swords you're not going to be in this nine of swords that they're trying to put you in you're just like no nah ten of wands I'm not I'm not taking your your energy you can keep your bad karma over there and I will keep my pentacles over here I will not allow you I will not trade we're not doing this energetic exchange you stand in your own karma what is this Ten of Wands about? Sagittarius is balanced, male and female. So it doesn't necessarily, again, giving and receiving energy, okay? 
And this person is coming to you. You're you're in four of swords, so this is actually your energy. What is this ten of wands? Justice, what is this ten of wands? Six of cups, what is this ten of wands? The lovers, right? And they got the lovers card up there, right? So it's definitely a partnership. It's Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be a Gemini you're dealing with. Justice card here. It's contracts, it's documents, it's actually Libra energy, six of cups. It's absolutely a soul contract. It's just, you know, this partnership, as it was before, you know, this contract's up. Ten of wands, you're setting down burdens. You don't owe them anything. Six of cups, six of cups. We're going to find out more over here about what specifically that this balance is. What was that soul contract? Because you don't owe them it anymore. What is this Nine of Cups? That's why they can't get to you when you're in that Four of Swords and that Hermit energy. You're not giving them the energy to play with. Occupation. Nine of Cups. What is this Nine of Cups and Sagittarius's Strength card? What's this Nine of Cups and Sagittarius's outcome? Nine of Pentacles. What's this Strength card? What's this? I'm sorry. What is this Nine of Cups and Sagittarius's? Again, Cancer energy. Okay. Minor Arcana. Uh, Empress card, that's Libra Taurus energy. That's Leo energy there with the strength. Occupation. Being successful. I would look up the angel number 99. It's nine of cups, nine of pentacles. That's happiness, that's success. That's just holding on. Keep moving forward. You know, this is cancer energy here. You're going to encounter them. They might be in your workplace. But you're just going to keep on moving forward. You're not waiting on this person or you're not buying their BS. What is this Two of Swords? Message. Okay, feeling undecided about a message. What is this Two of Swords? Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. What's this Two of Swords? Two of Swords. <laughs> Look at the angel number 22. <laughs> and heck, uh, 27 as well. Yeah, you're feeling this this message is an offer of some kind, a practical offer. Knight of Pentacles, any uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo, also a card of Leo. It's just a slow moving energy. You're, they're going to bring in an offer, but it's going to be like, and we'll get this to you in the next, you know, we'll give you, do the work now and we'll give you the raise in the next six to eight months. Like that. Promises. Promises. Small time offers. What is this Six of Cups? Small time in you. Message of concern. Yeah. What's the soul contract? The soul contract's broken and they're worried about that. What is this Six of Cups? They weren't expecting it. Knight of Swords. What's the Six of Cups? Judgment. What's the Six of Cups? Knight of Cups. Oh, they have this message of concern because there's this choice here. Right? Knight of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Pisces. Also, though, a card of Aquarius, but it doesn't matter. They're making this choice. They're noting that this soul contract is up, that you have made a choice, and they're coming towards you with some kind of offer. You're sitting here in the Knight of Swords energy. That is any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Gemini, which they got the Lover's card there. And there was a, the lover's card over here somewhere, right? Wasn't it in here? Or in here. Here we go. Or in the balance? In the balance. Yeah, the lover's card was in the balance here. So it could be them rushing at you. You're, you know, they send you this message of concern and you're like, yeah, but no, thanks. So they're running at you. Thanks, but no. What is this Wheel of Fortune about in Sagittarius's outcome? Change, again with that Cancer energy. What is this Wheel of Fortune about in Sagittarius's outcome? Five of Swords, what is this Wheel of Fortune? Queen of Swords, what's this Wheel of Fortune? Eight of Wands, then there's gonna be communication that goes back and forth. Divine timing is at play with this change. There's gonna be a lot of communications going back between you and this uh, person. This, Queen of Swords. So any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy in the Libra, also a card of Virgo. But they're going to be bringing words. They're going to be sharp and cold. 
friggin' conflict with this Five of Swords. Let's get you some advice. That's like arguments. This is like fist fights. This is like squabbles. Advice for Sagittarius, March 2nd through the 9th. King of Pentacles, advice for Sagittarius, March 2nd through the 9th. King of Swords, advice for Sagittarius, March 2nd through the 9th. Death card. Woo. Okay. King of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Taurus, also a card of Aries. I could have sworn. There he is. I'm coming in this tower and stuff being inequitable and stuff. This so this this person, this boss figure with this King of Swords and the Air Sign Aquarius Libra Gemini, heavy in the Aquarius, also a card of Capricorn. This this figure, right, they're gonna go from this practical offer to this impetuous offer to this like let's play mind games. And you need to be bringing that to an end. You just you keep up with the nope energy. Don't let them dim your shine. If you have a yes or no question, you will like answer. This is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. Message for Sagittarius. Look for a sign. Message for Sagittarius. Choose a new direction. Message for Sagittarius in the near future. Watch them like you're playing poker for money. They're going to reveal their tells to you. You're already familiar with their tells. You'll spot it if you watch them. That's the signs you should be looking for. You'll know when they're lying. And you'll know how to catch them in it. And whether you call them out on it or not, that's a strategic decision. Remember, you don't want to give them the energy. Remain in that hermit. Know it, see it, decline them. Say no and move on. But do it with respect. You know, be like, nah. But thanks, though. And then move along, right? Don't hurl stuff at them. They are looking for you to react. And you want to respond. They're playing checkers. You play chess, okay? Don't let them make you come in hot. Don't let them trigger that anger. Advice for Sagittarius, because we're ending with them still with conflict. They're, they're coming to you with conflict, we're ending with conflict. They're looking, that's part of their strategy. Okay? They're, getting, they're looking to get a reaction. Don't give the narcissist what they want. They feed off that reaction. Advice for Sagittarius, March 2nd through the 9th. Hold your vision, fixed moon. Advice for Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. Advice for Sagittarius, March 2nd through March 9th. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. They will knock their crap off soon. But you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Nothing will come of this situation void of Taurus moon. Yeah. They're going to make a fuss. Let them make a fuss. Understand. Like, if they're coming at you and they're coming at you when they come in hot and they're coming at your work and they're trying to insult your work, let your work stand for itself. My work stands alone. You want to examine it? Examine it. You want to go over what I did? Go over it. Make sure I dotted the T's. Make sure I, you know, like I, I dotted I's cross T's. Tell me if I made a mistake. I want to learn from this. Go ahead. Examine. Help me be better. That kind of attitude will make them feel like there's absolutely nothing to hide. It'll make everybody who's watching their moves make theirs like that. The more reasonable you are, the more a fool they will look. The more a fool their aggression will look. The more they're exposed for the kind of person they really are, the energy that they're holding. Nothing will come of this. Any, any jawing they do, nothing will come of it. There's no reason to react. Give them no energy. Balance, balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Like, hold that. What do you need to release? Waning moon. It's time to release negativity. Look, it answered you. Message for Sagittarius. Asked and answered. Everywhere, fairies. 
We are the fairies of the city streets, ensuring daisies crack the pavements. We are the fairies of the forest, guarding the groves. We are ever surprising, always defying definition. Just like you, human child. It's not true of a Sagittarius if I ever heard one. All right. I hope that helps, Sagittarius, because it is what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here. <laughs>